This is what you can already visualize. Believe me, this is what you can already visualize with or without Ishumeh. Maybe you have never actually drawn it before. So with the requirement of answering the questions in H2 math, you are forced to draw it, which is a good idea because the more when we draw it, it, it helps us to conceive the entire, um, I mean, to conceive the entire scenario even better because we can now more tangibly have a taste of how uh, to, to see what it is like instead of just imagining it in our head. So drawing this is very, very good. Okay, in case, just in case, okay, just in case some of you really, really don't have the habit of doing a sketch for vectors, I will highly encourage you to find ways to sketch whatever scenario that is given to you. As much as possible, have this as the very first part of, how, uh, at, at the very first part of how you're going to generate the vectors solution for a particular problem that you're given. So we have this point F, and we are supposed to find the coordinates of point F. We, are, we need something about point F. So F is a point that lies on the line L1. F is a point that lies on the line L1, which means that L1 will be able to represent the position vector of F, correct? Because this R here represents the position vector of any point that is on the line L1. That is why if F is a point that is on L1, we can say that OF is equal to R for a particular lambda. So since, o, since F is a point that lies on the line L1, OF is going to take up a format of minus 1 plus lambda, minus 3 lambda, 2 plus 4 lambda. Okay? This is with a good understanding, not because I've memorized but it is a, with a good understanding of how I am applying a theory to something that I've visualized. Any question? And of course, if I were to depend on what I've visualized, F is not just any point that is on the line L1, or else I would have just used R, you know, why should I use OF? F is a special point such that it is the foot of the perpendicular. So geometrically, geometrically, PF is perpendicular to the line L1. So we do want to find PF, PF is equal to OF, OF is this, minus away OP, OP is negative 2, negative 7, 10. This is going to give us a 1 plus lambda, 7 minus 3 lambda, minus 8 plus 4 lambda. PF is this. And PF is perpendicular geometrically. This depends on my visualization. PF is perpendicular to the line L1. Can I use this? I cannot use this because this is the position vector of a point that is on the line L1. This is not perpendicular to this, this is perpendicular to the line L1. So from the information, from the equation that is given, I will extract out information that gives us insight to the geometry of the line L1. And I believe, and I'm very sure you guys believe this too, it is going to be this. 1 minus 3, 4. Because 1 minus 3, 4 is the vector that is parallel to the line L1. So PF is also going to be perpendicular to this. That is why from here, I'm going to let PF dot this 1, negative 3, 4. I'm going to let this be equal to 0 because PF is perpendicular to the line L1. Any question? So it is going to be this 1 plus lambda, 7 minus 3 lambda, minus 8 plus 4 lambda, dot 1 minus 3, 4 is equal to 0. If I were to work this out, I will be able to find a value for lambda. Lambda is going to be equal to 2. This is, the, this is that specific value of lambda that gives me the position vector of f. So therefore, from here, we know that the position vector of f is going to be minus 1 plus 2, minus 3 times 2, 2 plus 4 times of 2. This is going to be equal to 1, negative 6, and 10. Pf is this, and sorry, of is this, and since the question asked me about the coordinates of point f, so the coordinates will be 1, negative 6, 10. <laughs>